some some questions. Start asking um, some questions. Start asking some questions. All right, we'll keep going to a different football. So this is a really interesting one. Miami, where the goat has moved recently, and we've covered his his movement, Lionel yeah. Messi, obviously, pretty comprehensively on this podcast. It's becoming a global soccer hub. We have the Argentinian FA, Football Association, is building an efficient official training facility near Miami Beach. We have FIFA moving 100 employees from Switzerland to a new office in South Florida. We have the uh, the uh, World world Club, uh, gone blank. The two tournaments that, that are coming to the, to the States, we, yeah. we, we, we talk about yeah, we it all Copa, the time. we got Copa America coming. Cup We've America. got World Cup coming. And, world, um, world, you know, world you've seen, Cup. obviously, Formula yeah. One go there. And so World Cup and World Club Championship is, is happening in America. Yeah. It's almost like Europe's or FIFA's finally identified the biggest market in the world is the U.S. <laughs> yeah. Well... <laughs> We, we, we talked about this, you know, we talked about, uh, you know, whenever um, the U S marketplace kind of got their soccer act together, that if, you know, and given the, the financial, uh, you know, strength of the marketplace that, uh, you know, that uh, there is no better place to hold a world cup. They still, the 1994 world cup in the U S is still the number one ticket sales of any world cup. It's gonna it's gonna be surpassed in 2026 without a doubt. For sure. But now you've got now you you know with with Messi coming over and obviously the success of our women's team, um, and, and and obviously all the buzz around MLS, um, and 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 frankly, you know with uh, you know all of the uh, you know the summer tours that you know bringing some of the top names over here the you know the international champions cup and and just uh, summer friendlies with the uh, you know the real madrids and the fc barcelonas of the world coming over here to play in fill stadiums and the rexhams the the, the, the rexhams and yes uh, and the watfords that want to come over you, you know i mean but you know bringing the brand over here the, the the quality of play again much like what the nfl is doing and bringing their product to europe and saying this is what football looks like they brought soccer, football over here and said, this is what it's supposed to look like, guys. When you've got, you know, Ronaldo playing with Messi and playing with, you know, Neymar and playing with, uh, you know, Sergio. And, and now we're kind of getting our own little taste of that with what Miami's doing. Obviously, we brought Beckham over here. We brought Ibra over here. We, we brought talented players over. Now we're starting to see what it looks like when players come over together and play on teams together and create um, that same level of play that we're used to getting up early on a Sunday or a Saturday morning to watch, you know, in the EPL or La Liga. Um, now we can see that happening, you know, in Miami and in, in St. Louis and in, uh, you know, Los Angeles and in Minnesota and in New York and in, you know, uh, you know, in, in Austin, Texas, uh, you know, so, you know, that, that that has now made the American advertiser go, hmm, this this soccer thing is going to be pretty big. And guess where the rest of the world is starting to, you know, you know, starting to notice like um, there's a lot of players, you know, the Saudi, the Saudis are putting up money. But uh, we're already hearing that Neymar is already planning his his return to Santos. So um, with all due respect, that's uh... That's that's only a matter of time before things implode there. So uh, yeah, so I mean, it's it's one. It's but we you know to your point, the American soccer community has awakened. The American marketing community is now engaged. That's the strength uh, and, there. That's, and, that's and, the and and we and we have the biggest tournament in the world after thirty years finally coming back. Um, which is a which is a whole different travesty of why it's taking that long, but it's coming back, and now we're you know the rest of the world is going like shit. Um, we might have lost our hold on being the biggest soccer markets because if given a choice, there, there's some fantastic markets to play in Syria, Groups League, or whatever. Um, but you know, but it's going to happen you, because because the Americans are buying up all the teams. So. Well, yeah, and 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 that's a whole that's, that's obviously another byproduct of uh, you know. Do you want to buy a you know 
400, 500 million for an MLS team, or do you want to, you know, go over and get into the premiership and buy a, buy a team over there for, uh, you know, a couple hundred million pounds or a couple hundred million pounds and, and then watch it rise up to, you know, Liverpool and sell it for 4 billion. Yeah. It's Got a lot more upside over there. Sign deals with Netflix and Amazon and all, all the American brands and, yeah. and help them expand yeah. into, into Europe and, Maybe you and I should do that since we're now, you know, internet stars, right? Yeah, we're, we're killing it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, bright bright days ahead for football in America. Um, the strategic location, South America being around the corner, one of the biggest markets of football, that's really untapped. It's a it's a, it's the opportunity now for America to use that talent and make it theirs in their leagues. It's just about having the right people, the right personnel out there and bringing that talent into the States and have the academies in place and have the infrastructure in place to, to nurture that talent and move them into their MLS teams before they go to Europe because that's yep. what's happening. That talent yep. gets identified early in South America and then it's moved straight into the European academies. Now, if you flip that around and instead of going all the way to Europe, just go next door to America the biggest market in the world, 350 million people, the biggest marketing campaigns in the world, biggest companies, most money, like their lifestyle is, you know, is amazing in, in most states. Um, it's a no-brainer. It really is. Yeah. yeah. So and, it just and, needs and, 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 execution, and vision, it. execution. Yeah. So once that starts happening, there's in 10 to 15 years, America can be the football king of the world. 